Roy Gallagher. That is who we react to today. Shout out to my man Robert, official mob member. Um, he subscribed to the Patreon. He requested this. Um, and I'm so happy to check out um, a brand new artist. Um, he, he threw this in the, and you know, in our private messages, we've been going back and forth. And um, Rob told me I got to check this out. So my man Rob said, check it out. So here we are. We have William Rory Gallagher. He was an Irish uh, musician and songwriter. He is known for his uh, virtuosic style of guitar playing and is often referred to as the greatest guitarist you've never heard of. Oh, wow. That is very sad. The greatest guitarist that you've never heard of that hurts i feel bad about that a number of guitarists including alex lifeson of rush brian may of queen eric clapton have cited gallagher as an influence that is so sad i mean we talk constantly about you know the artists who don't get the credit that they deserve you know, when some of these bigger bands take songs from the smaller artists and don't cite them, don't don't credit them. Oh, man, it just it hurts to read stuff like this. The greatest guitarist that you've never heard before. That's sad. Uh, Rolling Stone have him ranked as the 57th greatest guitarist of all time in 2015. He's from Cork, Ireland. Blues rock and hard rock. All right, now. He plays guitar, harmonica, mandolin, and saxophone. All right. Gallagher formed the blues rock power trio Taste, okay, which experienced moderate commercial success and popularity in the United Kingdom. After the dissolution of Taste, Gallagher pursued a solo career, releasing music throughout the 1970s and 80s and selling more than 30 million copies. That's not bad. That's actually really good. And he's considered the greatest guitarist that nobody's heard, that nobody knows, or that you've never heard of. But he has 30 million records sold. We've reacted to artists who ain't even in the ballpark of that. So, oh, okay. Gallagher's popularity declined throughout the 1980s due to changes within the music industry and poor health. He received a liver transplant. Oh, Died at the age of 47 in London. That makes me sad. But he had a he had a great run. Listen, guys, we've talked about it before. Um, I know we react to a lot of icons, right? And part of what makes icons icons is longevity, is their ability to have their name referred to or spoken about long after their prime, right? So, but of course, if everybody could be icons, then it wouldn't be a, a major thing. It's a reason why they are who they are. Um, the Stevie Ray Vaughns, the Hendrix, um, BB King, uh, BB King and Eric Clapton, like they're icons for a reason, but I don't think 30 million records in a, a 10 year run of success is considered a failure or considered to be like something to scoff at that's really impressive because as we all know i'm sure we all know somebody who's trying to make it in music we all do and they haven't even made it out of their house he sold 30 million records and he's classified as the guitarist that you've probably never heard of 
I don't know how that's possible, but that's sad. But it's nothing to scoff at. Uh, a 10-year run of success, 30 million records. That's legendary to me. To me. But I, I guess everybody got different standards. But this is Bullfrog Blues. That's the name of this song. I love that name. I can't wait to hear it and see it. Um, but the name alone is incredible. I'm sitting here looking at him. Um, he almost looks like Getty from Rush. <laughs> uh, but like with a Stevie Ray Vaughan style. He has on a... Um, what do they call this shirt? Uh, uh, I'm blanking, but... Just his shirt and everything. He seemed like a little country boy, but he's from Ireland. So I, I'm I'm really excited to see this and hear this. The greatest guitarist that you've never heard before. That that title is really sticking with me right now. But I want to hear this. I want to see what Robert's talking about here with this guy. So let's get into Roy Gallagher. Let's see what's going on. Did you ever? Did you ever? Excuse me? You want to run that by me again? Well, did you ever? 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 Well, did you ever wake up with that bump out? Did you ever wake up with that blue box on your back? You had to sit there and never, never, never keep them crying. Did you ever wake up with that blue box on your back? Did you ever wake up with that blue box on your back? Did you ever wake up with that blue box on your back? We 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 just got over a minute in. We are a minute and two seconds in. Oh my gosh. Who is he? Oh no. Who is this? Guy. I woke up this morning, that mother had a two. She know about that, we got a bank, and a football ball.
I, I just need I need a second. I need a second. I need I, I need a second. Let just let me pace back and forth. Let me get my mind together. Who is this guy? Let's start with his voice. He's a he's a mix of Joe Cocker and Janis Joplin. Which y'all know, I'm a blues brother. If you could sing the blues, you got me. Did you ever? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to his band. Everything. The bass guitar. Who is on that piano? I haven't heard piano playing like that since John Lord of Deep Purple. Who is on that second guitar that we're listening listening to right now? He's incredible. Y'all see, I moved the chair out the way. I can't sit down no more. Who is this guy? This, I, I haven't been wild like this since it's been a long time. Holy Schwarzenegger. I'm about to just sit on the floor. I don't, I, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands, nothing. Who the hell are these guys? For one, his bass pedal foot it's as fast as John Bonham. This dude, who the, uh, who? Yo. <laughs> this is nuts. Literal nuts. Robert, 
You outdid yourself with this recommendation, bro. Holy he sound like Elvis right here who is this dude am I tripping does he not sound like Elvis a little bit right here to me he sounds like Elvis he's from Ireland it can't just be me right Y'all hear Elvis in this dude, or am I tripping? Yo. What? We won't eat. We won't sleep. We won't say a word. The doctor just laughed and said, Madam, don't be absurd. Just get that boy a six-string steel guitar. Get that boy a six-string steel guitar. But I'm learning right. Every night, down at a hump to the floor. Well, he can learn a right, he can learn a wrong. If he works real hard, he'll get his own special sound. Well, there's not that boy, Billy Wiggins. He's got an enemy that's got to come out. I said, hey, Bull Brown, can you hear me? I said, hey, Bull Brown, can you hear me? so fast it can't like the, the the frames from these old cameras can't even keep it look how fast his freaking hands are moving <laughs> I'm not looking for 
We'll see you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Get on your feet. You give a standing ovation. I want you on your feet. I got to be so honest. I couldn't really hear the names that he was saying when he was, uh, you know, giving them their flowers because of the quality from the freaking mic and the just the quality of, of the video. I couldn't I couldn't hear who he was crediting. Maybe I could find it on here. Uh, personnel. I gotta, I gotta find out who these people were. Was this the live performance in Europe? I think it is. Because he's wearing the same flannel shirt. I think it is. Gary McAvoy on bass guitar. But I don't see, I don't see, uh, I don't see piano. So it can't be. Let me try to listen again. I couldn't really hear the names. Okay, Jerry. I, was, I said Jerry McAvoy. Okay, so that that's correct. Jerry McAvoy. Jerry's a bad boy. That's a bad brother right there. Jumps, Mr. Radia. Right Radia. Right the jumps, Mr. Radia. Right Radia. Right Rodney Young, and he, I, I can hear his accent when he talks. Uh, see, I see Wilger Campbell. So, but it sounds like he's saying Rodney Young. Up here on the jumps, Mr. Rodney Young. Rodney Young. I can't make out what he's saying and there's no closed caption to at least give me an idea of the name he said. Damn, it's it's going to irritate me, man. I want to know who these people are. I'm a dog and keyboards, Mr. Lou Martin. Lou Martin? Luke Martin? Y'all got to let me know. Y'all got to let me know. Robert, you got to let me know who 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 everybody is. You got to let me know. I got to find out who these people are. Bruh. Talk about. And you know what? Again, we're not surprised because great talent gets overlooked all the time. It's a lot of overrated big names. And there are a lot of underappreciated, underrated talented gods who just don't get the credit that they deserve and that's not something that we're like foreign to here on this channel again we talk about it all all the time but it's just sad bro when you see it and you hear it you hear the talent so he's a mix of joe cocker stevie ray vaughn a little bit of janice joplin Notice, I'm naming all icons. Uh, 
he's up there. Talent wise, I'm talking talent. I'm not talking about commercial success. I'm talking about talent. He is incredible. His band is incredible. Everything about this was incredible. So, from a composition standpoint, his music does sound like Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, I find it funny that they said that his music didn't really, um, it's, he said, well, it said the music industry, but I'm going to assume they were talking about the music. It said because of his health and the music industry is why he kind of fell off in the 80s. But his style and the, the, the composition of this song, even though uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan's music was a little bit more bluesier, but he sounded like something from Stevie Ray Vaughan in the 80s. So I don't know if I really bought now it said music industry. So maybe they aren't talking about the music. The music had changed. Maybe they are saying like the, the industry and the way they went about things changed and he just couldn't conform to them. Y'all let me know what happened to this guy. That's really what I'm trying to say. Y'all let me know what happened to Rory because Rory is incredible. It's a, it's a crime that. People are saying that he's the greatest guitarist that you've never heard of. It's a crime that they're saying that he had the, the, the talent to continue, but the music industry kind of did away with them, whether directly or indirectly. Um, it's a crime that, you know, health, you know, in, uh, was it liver cancer? I think it said. It's sad that health took him out of the uh, out of the picture. It's it's just all around sad because again, from a talent perspective, he's probably one of my favorite. My this is one of my favorite first reactions to anybody. Probably since BGs, Righteous Brothers. We we going on a year since those reactions. This was incredible, man. I feel so bad the fact that they are label, labeling him the greatest guitarist that you've never heard of. Robert, you got to let me know what happened to this dude. You got to let me know. You got to let me know. You know, and I, I see why they're saying that. Like, he doesn't even have, like, a, a Wikipedia that I could, like, look up the song for some of this stuff. So it's like. Oh, man, that's just so sad, bro. It's so sad. I can't wait to hear and learn more about this guy. He's incredible. He's really incredible. Yeah, that, that's all I got. This guy's incredible. Y'all let me know what else from him I need to check out. Um, Robert. That's y'all. That's, that, that, I need you to let me know what happened to this guy. Let me know more of his story. Um, and we'll go from there, man. Incredible. Rory Gallagher was incredible. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, peace.